Hey guys, how's it going? Brandon here and welcome back to another Pokemon Team Rebuilder where we take a member of the Pokemon Elite Four Gym Leader, just a character of the Pokemon franchise and change their in-game team to suit a more suitable uh, status within the game. Now today, as you probably get from the title and the thumbnail, we are doing Roxanne, the first gym leader of the Hoenn region. I believe that a first gym leader should set the example for the rest of the game. It's the first proper battle within the game, whether it be Brock, whether it be Roxanne, um, Faulkner, Falk yeah, Faulkner in Gen 4, Gen uh, 2, sorry, you know, uh, Rock, you, you get the picture. The first gym leader is the boss and should, is the first proper challenge that you should face. With that in mind, I think that there should be certain challenges or certain things that we're going to change about the team to actually give it that boss-like status. Now, of course, this is just my opinion on what team I think it could use. I think a gym leader should have six Pokemon. I think they should be able to hold items. Um, so it's just my opinion. But if there's anything that you would change about the team that I would give Roxanne in Generation 3, then by all means, make sure to let me know in the comments below. Without further ado, let's get into this team. So first up, uh, lead Pokemon, I would go with just a simple Geodude. She has a Geodude when you play through Ruby, Sapphire and Emerald. No reason in not giving her another Geodude again. Ability again, abilities in Generation 3, you've either got Sturdy or Rockhead. Uh, I don't think that it's far enough along in the game where it would relevant having like a Rockhead sort of like Geodude with Double Edge. Um, I just think that's just uh, a bit unnecessary. Uh, so for this, I've gone with a defense curl rollout sort of Geodude, so sets up a defense curl. Uh, but again, with it's her lead, it's sort of setting the tone for the battle. If you've got your water type or your grass type, it should be fairly easy to deal with. Tackle, Rock Tomb, obviously is the staple of the uh, gym. Uh, Rock Tomb is the TM you get from the gym, so uh, five of the six mons on this team are carrying Rock Tomb. So yes, yeah, so I've gone for a defense curl, rollout, tackle, rock tomb, sturdy geodude, hold anything citrus berry, because if it's going to hold anything, it might as well hold something that's going to get a bit of recovery. But like I said, if you're using the grass type, or the uh, if, you, if you've got Trico or Mudkip in this sense, I think an absorb, a bullet seed, or whatever would kill it outright. Um, but say using double kick, maybe it might not kill, and then it gets a citrus berry proc. Sort of idea, but it's like a harder version of, the, if you're thinking of a ROM hack, that's sort of the idea that I've gone with. It's still a Geodude, it's still very beatable, but again, it's just the lead and it's just setting the tone for what the battle is going to be. The second one that I've given to her is actually an Aron, a mon that we don't see her use for some odd reason. In my opinion, it's a Generation 3 Rock type. You don't get it that far after the first gym anyway. Why not just give Roxanne an Aron, especially if she's leading with the grass. If, le if you lead with a Trico and you show Trico's your staff and you've got the grass type, Boom, send an Aron. Suddenly that's still typing. Your grass type moves aren't super effective anymore. Rock 2, Metal Core, Mud Slap, Headbutt, again sturdy, or Rock Head, again, neither really plays any sort of effect in this sense, but I put them there just for the sake of putting there. Holding the Hardstone to boost up the, the, the uh, Rock Tomb. If Geodude somehow managed to get a Rock Tomb, there's a chance his Aron could be outspeeding. Aron hits decently hard. Rock Tomb boosted from a Hardstone, it's going to hit even harder. Metal Claw has a chance to raise its attack. That could also be very scary. Mud Slap, although special, lowers accuracy. Again, really annoying. After lowering speed with Rock Tomb, it could then also go for flinches with uh, 70 base power headbutt. Uh, this thing could surprisingly be annoying if you didn't get, get rid of it quite quickly. Uh, like I said, if you're slower than it after a Rock Tomb, or if it's used Rock Tomb on you, it's going to hurt because it's Hardstone boosted, and then it could potentially you could potentially miss because it's Mud Slap you. It could have potentially got an attack race from Metal Claw, or it could start to flinch you with headbutts. A really annoying one to actually deal with, and I think would have done a really decent job on her team in the main game, even if an Emerald, because it really would have given those Trico players something to consider. Uh, if you've chosen Mudkip, I think I still think a Water Gun kills, uh, and, but definitely need to make sure that you're speeding. And if you've evolved into a Combuskin, I still think a Double Kick just absolutely annihilates it. Um, yeah, really good second team member that I think would cause a lot of problems. On to Pokemon number three, and we have Anorith. Now, I never understood, in the city where you revive fossils, why the gym leader doesn't have either one or other fossils. You even could have done it based on the starter choice um, of which fossil that it does. Or you generally could have done it down to chance. Or do what I'm going to do, and that's give them both. We'll go through Anorith first. So I've actually given them the Quick Claw to, again, Quick Claw could pop, Rock Tomb, Stab, Bang. 
Fury Cut, Quick Claw Pops goes first, gets the first Fury Cutter off. Or Harden sets up those uh, physical defensive. It's going to scratch there just for a bit of it. You can't crit this thing because of Battle Armor, which makes this thing really annoying to deal with. And again, if it's slow, that Quick Claw might not even need to pop. Or it could pop the first time, get the Rock Team off, and then suddenly it's quicker than you, hitting Fury Cutters as Fury Cutter gets harder and harder and harder. Again, Chosen Trico really isn't looking like a really solid option here. Once again, uh, Mudkip... Um, Beats this thing 1v1. Uh, Combuskin, again, uh, uh, fighting is neutral because of the bug typing, So and so is uh, Ember because of the rock typing. Uh, so again, it's those type matchups and those pivoting that, that you would actually need to think about and actually add that basic element and difficulty to the challenge. Uh, but yeah, Rock Tomb, again, lowering speed, potential quick claw pops for Fury Cutter that are boosting power. Potential, uh, it's not going to get crit through battle armor and could raise its defenses with Harden as well. Really solid mon, uh, and I definitely think the Fossil should have made it onto our team. And of course, we can't have Anarif without Lilith. This thing is surprisingly really, really annoying. Again, if this thing actually got a uh, Storm Drain, and I mentioned this in the team builder, uh, this thing would actually be such a difficult thing to deal with, to the point where if it was Roxanne's Ace, then it would you'd need Combuskin to be able to beat this thing. Uh, suction cups it is though, but it can't actually learn Rock Tomb via uh, TM or via level up or anything So I was like, well, it can't actually learn it, so I can't just illegally give it to it um, But it's gonna have ancient power instead, which means it actually has the chance to get the boosts Which makes this thing even more horrible. Uh, I gave it the Miracle Seed. You could all, I could also give it the Citrus Berry just for recovery uh, But the reason I gave it the Miracle Seed just to add a bit. I don't want to give too many things Citrus Berries uh, Ingrain why not? Again, can, it's not going to move. It's just going to stay in, recover HP. Uh, Bullet Seed, again, I could probably swap that for something like maybe Mega Drain, just for if it wants to be really annoying and get recovery back. You could run Mega Drain, Ingrain, and then Acid, just again, in case you run Trico. Yeah, you're really not going to be wanting, wanting to run Trico against this Roxanne team. It honestly does absolutely nothing. Um, and then again, like I say, if you've chosen Mudkip, now's is the first proper challenge where you've got to figure out a way around this thing because yeah water gun is going to be neutral but Lilith has a really good special defense and is going to be able to just sit there and ancient power in your face and get potential boosts and super effective bullet seed miracle seed hit you and with the game's ai and luck if it was me facing it that bullet seed would be hitting at least three times minimum uh but yeah i think in a really annoying mon i think in other rom hacks Leap has actually been a staple of Roxanne's team. Uh, I think it was. I think it was in Kaizo. I've never played it myself. But I swear I remember seeing somewhere that a ROM hack that Leap was a really big issue when they start when they put it on Roxanne's team. So you know it, it it is a problem. It's bulky, and that early in the game can be a real real problem. Pokemon number five, and it wouldn't be a real me team, would it? Unless I actually run some sort of meme on the team. Uh, I've gone with Nosepass in slot number 5, and I've gone with something else ha as her ace. I just, as bulky as Nosepass is, I just don't think it's a mon that should be considered a, a trainer's ace. I just don't think it's good enough. Um, so I was like, screw it, I'll put Nosepass in there, but it's going to be an absolute fat old meme. Uh, and that's why, if you've got to this point and Mudkip's managed to get all the way to its Nosepass, guess what, you don't one-shot this thing with, with Mudkip. No chance in hell you do. If you do over half, it gets back Citrus Berry. And then it's either going to block you in and basically click boom. This thing's job is to click boom. And kill a member on your team that is going to be able to beat the last mon. And basically just cripple the hell out of you. Because if your best mon is in against this and it gets blocked, uh, you can't switch out. And if you can't kill it because of the Citrus Berry... Uh, yeah, this thing just goes boom in your face and something dies because, again, it looks like a meme set, but in reality, facing that would be awful. Like, you would hate it. It would be terrible. That's the point of these. It's a boss battle. It's supposed to be horrible. You're supposed to look at this and go, oh, I don't like that. That thing either slows me down and I can't beat it because it's very bulky. It's going to click block and lock me in. And then once it's, hate once it's eating its citrus berry and it's low HP... It's just going to go, you know what, bye-bye, boom. I'm just going to explode and kill something and get a clean switch into my final mon. Yeah, this this thing, in reality, on paper, haha, it's a nose pass. But actually, yeah, this thing could be a proper problem. 
And then finally, we have Roxanne's Ace, which there was a lot of contenders for this spot on what I wanted to do. I went with Lunatone in, and now I understand you got Tate and Liza with Lunatone. I do want to actually do Tate and Liza as a team rebuilder and completely get rid of Lunatone and Soul Rock and think of an actual synergy doubles team that would make them a real proper challenge. So I thought if I scrap Lunatone and Soul Rock from Tate and Liza, or at least if I if I keep them in there, they won't be their, their, their aces, I can make Lunatone an ace for this. The reason I made Lunatone an ace for this is because it's a mon that doesn't evolve, which means its base stats are decent for that part of the game. Really, really decent. Uh, Rock Tomb, to slow things down, this thing already has uh, 70 base speed, so it will outspeed you a lot if things have already been Rock Tombed. Confusion for the Combuskin, so if, you, if you've chosen Combuskin, um, this thing will just confuse you, and it's super effective. Stab. Citrus Berry for recovery. It can click Hypnosis and put you to sleep, which is just really annoying. And again, you're going to be lucky with the AI for it not to just absolutely destroy you. Uh, levitate to get rid of a weakness in rock within ground. And if the AI was good enough within the game, could potentially predict a ground and get its ace in, which would just be absolutely horrifying. Or it can just do what Geodode does, and that's live for days with a citrus berry and start building up rollouts and start destroying things and suddenly you've got a mon with 70 base speed which doesn't seem like a lot but it's going to be quicker than a lot of things that are early game and suddenly it's rolled out twice killed two things and you're like i have nothing that outspeeds and nothing to take this rollout you've got to be hoping and praying for rng which in a boss fight sometimes is what you need to hope for um, so yeah, so I, thought I went with Lunatone as the ace for Roxanne in this this time round. Uh, but do make sure to let me know in the comment section below uh, what other choices you would have done. Uh, I went because everything, nearly everything other than Geodude was weak to Trico. Uh, Trico, I actually considered making Relicanth the ace. Um, because it's severely weak to Grass, but just your Grass type just doesn't make it through any of the other mons other than Geodude. Um... So yeah, I was sort of just like Relicamp's actually safe because if you've chosen Mudkip, it's neutral. If you've chosen Combuskin, sure, but it's now a water type. And yeah, so there's other things that I was considering. I went with Lunto in the end, obviously, because of a little bit of connection towards the channel as well. But yeah, like I said, let me know in the comments below what you would have as Roxanne's ace. So there you have it, guys. That is our Pokemon team rebuilder for Roxanne in Generation 3. If we were to make, if I was to make personally Roxanne... A boss type fight game in the in the Pokemon franchise like I believe gym leaders should be that is the team that I would give her make sure to let me know in the comment section below your thoughts and ideas surrounding this idea um, if you'd like the shorter video describing this and then obviously the team builder for Roxanne as well if you like the two different video formats um, do make sure to also click like and subscribe and all that good stuff it helps me out a lot it's completely free uh, and it absolutely goes a long way Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And peace out.